Well, welcome back. You know, welcome back to the OG Boys podcast. I am buzzing, and you know why I'm buzzing? Why are you buzzing? Because the podcast has done so well. How well? Oh, it's top 10 on sports. Well, it was top 10 on sports. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Got, you need to <laughs> his, club, his club always makes me laugh. I don't know why. Hello. He needs... You don't make me laugh on many things, but oh, your clock makes me laugh. No, oh. we need to say a massive thank you to all the support so far. Before I go on, actually, as you can maybe tell by my voice, I am severely ill. But we push through for the severely. OG boys. What do you mean severely? <laughs> I've been ill up up all night. Like no, My throat is gone. It's good for anyway, me. Anyway, we, uh, we're pushing through because the OG boys podcast got to number 10 on the top UK Spotify sports podcast. There we go. On the top UK podcasts are all around the uk any podcast not just sport what do we get like 47 i'm gonna say something, something like, that. like that yeah but Klopp, so. tell us how buzzing you are with it mate i'm absolutely ecstatic about it i love it thank you guys so much <laughs> <laughs> no on a real thank you guys so much for all the support like it's been like i say better than we even imagined oh, it? absolutely and this is it's all down to you listening to us so thank you so much we're, we're always going to improve all right yeah we know we're just going to keep going and that's why i'm here ill i'm going to try and look for the sympathy here yeah honestly i was i said to them earlier i was like if i was you i wouldn't have been here yeah, yeah i couldn't do it mikey, mikey, so mikey wouldn't be here so and he's, i'm here so he's a trooper he's a trooper i mean yeah but anyway let's we'll get, as, as like i said last week we don't muck about on these we podcasts don't muck about. we're, we're straight into it straight into the what's it the the big stuff so yeah, big stuff so as you as you know, as a United fan, over the weekend you had a what can, well, how do I uh, describe it? A poor performance. Right, uh, I, just, I don't like the way he. I don't like the way he's like. He's like. D- <laughs> Explain d- your side. What did you? How do you think what? Man United did against? Give some. We need to give some more context. So as you know, what, what context? You did shit. No, whoa, <laughs> that was a bit. <laughs> that was a bit at me. That. Go on. Go no, on. Man United. Of course. Yeah, we lost two 0 to Spurs. But 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 go but. On, explain. Everyone's explain. going. Oh, Mount's rubbish. Casemiro's rubbish. Bruno's rubbish. Just shut up in it, like literally, <laughs> like like we we literally. Had, I think we had eleven shots in the first half. Like we should have won. Okay, but like you the didn't first win. Half, we should have had a penalty. You didn't. It's, you you should have, but none of this. Talking about should have had a penalty. Bruno Fernandez has come out and he's like, basically because of last week where Man United were playing Wolves, yeah. and obviously Onana clothesline. We talked about it last oh, week. Yeah, where Onana clothesline. Yeah. And then the referee come out and apologise to the Wolves manager, right? Bruno Fernandes has come out and asked if the referee's going to apologise to Man United for the Sergio Romero handball. So basically, Sergio Romero's had his hand nice and high away from his body. Garnacho's shot. The ball's hit his hand. So Bruno Fernandes, Mike, I want you to be Bruno Fernandes and I'm going to be the referee, right? And you're going to beg for an apology. Come with the frog. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> Please! It was a foul! It was a red... Not a red. It was a handball! <laughs> <laughs> that is that is good, isn't it? <laughs> Fernandez. Apparently, apparently, Bruno Fernandez. He does got, sound like Kermit. You got him. Oh no! But what, what? Rather than on the pitch, this is going to oh, be sorry, afterwards. Sorry. So this, okay. this is going to be afterwards. Okay. So now, just say I've had I've ref to read the game. It's two 0 Tottenham. I'm chilling here. I'm what the, was ref. the referee's name. Do you know? Uh, we'll just call him Ref. Okay. okay. <laughs> Dear Ref, are you going to apologize? No, you're talking to me. I thought you said it was after the game, like on its yeah, own. You're coming to okay. me. Dear Ref. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you going to apologize like you did last week? Apologize for what? The handball. Which handball? What do you mean? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he, he he changes, you know, changes his voice. He changes his voice as he goes on. What do you mean? What? what where's Kermit the, gone? What do you mean? The handball it hit Romero's hand. Why do I need to apologise when I got the decision correct? It hit his hand. Yeah, but I saw it hit his hand. But then I also saw that you're Man United, and I thought that we don't give Man United penalties away. No. From, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Only away from home we don't. Do no, here we go. Here At we home changes. we do, but no. away from home we don't. No, that's a, it's a tough. Well, one. I'm still refereeing. No, <laughs> was... I'm going to say it's a tough one. What? That handball is so quick. It's so close. Like I know it's an awkward. But it's definitely not a natural position. Well, can but we, like, can we go back into character? You know, I'm not like we're allowed to talk. Yeah, I know, but I just thought we was. Exactly. I was the referee there, and I'm not yeah. referees talking but to Mikey. My actual opinion is just like sucks. Uh, you, you can't have a good chat. You can't have a good chat. I can. Come on. So referee on another side, the other side, United. Yeah. If it was the other way around, you'd be like, yeah, referee, good decision. No, I wouldn't. You would. No, that was like, no you way. Would. That ball was like the hand was like up here yeah, because it was so close. It, well, I wouldn't it say it was a good decision. Close. It was pretty. Is close. it a penalty? Yes or no? Well, with the handball rules, I don't know anymore. No, they always change. You, on your mind, yes or no? Yes or I no? I would probably say yes. Yeah, so but you're just coming at me then. For yeah, no I reason. am coming at you because. 
Yeah, this is around. what my brother does. He just comes at me. Because United fans no do this. Should we, just fight on, should we just fight on this podcast? Like, <laughs> United fans are at you. You're all, we, you're all like that. Should we just be the first brothers to fight on a podcast? And then, and then, the and then probably brothers. not the first, but the first brothers to fight on a podcast. Yeah. And then we'll just get on the old Prime Misfits cards and we'll just fight each other. Yeah, I wouldn't do nah, that. Nah, let's move I on. I can't let's, be bothered with that. Let's, let's, let's move on because he's giving me shit about Man United. United imagine, shit. And he hasn't even spoke about his team. Oh, so I, I, do you know what? I'm not even going to speak. I'm going to let you talk this through because... As you may know, Chelsea went away to the massive hammers, didn't they? West yeah. Ham, oh, Scottish, side. David Moyes, mate. Oh, Scotland. that was a weird one. David Moyes. David Moyes. They yeah. went to West Ham. And what happened, Mikey? Talk us in See, detail. Give, give, I give, will, actually. Give I the will. fans the detailed right. context. Right, if you actually watch the game, you know we were the way better side. I know the result does not, and Can I, I accept you? that. What? Just being the way better side get you three points. Does trying to score have ten shots on target get you the no, goal? No, sure. exactly. <laughs> so, oh, we have four xg. They're going all right. Yeah, all right. United. Yeah. yeah anyway, on. we were way better side the first half. Absolutely were. And yeah. then we had that penalty that Enzo just you know shot at the keeper basically. Well, actually, did he go the right way? Keeper. I think. Well, how do you save it? Okay. But no, he no, no, keep down it. the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. There we go. And uh, Enzo, you missed that, and then it all just went West Ham's way, and they got a red card. We still can couldn't score. Mikel Antonio. Oi, Mikel Antonio, the good striker. Oh, no. So basically, context, you probably know already. I gave Mikel Antonio so much shit. I said he's technically one of the worst strikers <laughs> I've ever seen. And I still don't care that he scored. I'm still going to say that. It was that. a rocket. Yeah, but we can all hit a rocket every now and then. <laughs> right in the corner. No, it was a great uh, shot, but it doesn't it mean it doesn't it mean his technical ability is any much better than I than I explained before. He's still crap. But as, like, like, as a Chelsea fan, and you'd say it for United, I'm not worried because we looked way better. I'm worried about some players. But yeah. I just don't know. I just don't think you're that good. I think everyone thinks you're going to be really good, and just because you've got a new manager and you've got loads of players, and I just don't think you're that good. No, nah, we will be I think, good. I think you're in trouble. No, but on no, the no. Chelsea game, we're going to talk to Todd Bowley, and we're going to talk about his reaction to the Chelsea game because I think that what I did was I spent like 230 million big bucks on Kaika Cachado yep. and Zoe Fernandes. And Zoe Fernandes has apparently given the other team no. Kai Kachado has apparently given the other team a touchdown. Yeah. Mm. And mm. Zoe Fernandes yes. has missed a field goal. Is that correct? Okay, you you're basically there and I'll give it to you. Todd, that's basically I know what you're trying to get at, but yeah. So Kachado conceded a penalty. He came on, uh didn't have the greatest, you know, debut for <laughs> Chelsea, conceded a penalty and Enzo Missed a penalty, and that was to get us 2-1 up at that point, I think, and it just ruined the game for us, basically. So, basically, Chelsea spent 225 or so million. A lot Hold of on. money. So, basically, what you're telling me is I spent 230 million to lose to West Ham, and I spent... No, sorry. I spent like one billion in total. I spent yeah. 230 oh. million on two players. Yeah. Those two players that are meant to be bloody fantastic were absolute trash. Yes. And we still yes. didn't get the win. Is Correct. that what you're telling me? Correct. Well done, Bowley. You, you're I'm impressive. learning. <laughs> also, this accent's really hard to do when you have a terrible sore throat. But no, you know what? That is that was yeah. really impressive. But yeah, Chelsea. The money they spent is ridiculous, and it will happen. Don't worry. You spent one billion, and you still can't beat West Ham. West Ham are a top top side. What are you trying to say? To be fair, they are champions of Europe. Oh, I wouldn't count that. No, they are. No anyway, way. move on, anyway, move yes. on. We'll move on for the so, next game. We have, there's a few games that happened. So well, what would you like to start with? I'm going to go straight from the Arsenal beating Palace. Yeah, what a 1-0. Did you watch it? I did not. So I watched it. Is Arsenal, it? so context to the, to the fans. Arsenal beat Palace 1-0. Away at Sellers Park. It's never easy because it's just like the atmosphere. It's under the lights. M and F. Everyone's talking oh, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Asu got a dodgy red card. You've seen that though, haven't I've you? I've seen the yellow. Is it? A, is the second sorry, yellow. it second was a two yellow, yellows sorry. made a red. Second yellow. What are you saying? It what wasn't even. No, that was not a foul. So you're the referee in the moment. What are you okay. saying? So 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 basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into a little <laughs> improv sketch. Okay. So I'm um, just imagine I'm Tommy Asu and I've made this foul that's not really a foul, and you're the referee, and this is your moment to give the second yellow and make it a red. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is my time to be the best and get all the limelight on me. Tommy Asu, yellow. Oh, red. <laughs> so for some reason, Todd Bowley. Todd Bowley. That's not Todd Bowley. Todd Bowley's become a ref. <laughs> Todd Bowley's become I was just trying to do, you a, know, a Premier League referee. A, a referee with attitude. And okay, and now I'm going to switch switch you into Mikel Arteta your reaction to the red card. Ooh. It needs to be a bit preppy. 
What? <laughs> Why is that the yellow? Red? Is that a good accent, right? I think. Keep going. <laughs> just why is that a yellow red? Is that all he says? Come on. Well, I don't know. I didn't see his reaction. No, no you you are Mikel Arteta. You are him. I would like. I would be. How would you react I'd as him? I'd be George. I'd be like. Just for the people that aren't watching this, my I, I, jaw I is dropped. <laughs> you got to remember this is on Spotify and sorry, people sorry, can't yeah, see sorry. your jaw. Mikey's jaw has now dropped. Yeah, we need a little narrator or something. <laughs> no, but I think like more than you believe, Arteta would be like, how on earth is that the yellow card? Like the referees, they just make everything about them. Um, they just try and have like, the football is about to be, it's meant to be about the beautiful game and about how Arsenal play sexy football like me. I'm really sexy. But then the referees make it about them and it's just disgusting. Agreed? Not quite. I don't agree. Okay, Roy Hodgson. No, no. I, I, I think referees are just not good enough. They don't think make about them. They're just not good enough. <laughs> oh, no, is this is Harry Kane. Is Roy, oh, Roy, 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 Roy Hodgson. Roy Hodgson. Roy Hodgson. No, no. Roy Hodgson. Roy. What is your... This is after the game. Full-time whistle's gone. Roy Hodgson, your thoughts on losing 1-0 to Arsenal? Well, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? Like, we're Palace. We're not very good. No, I, I mean, I would, have, I would have given him a knuckle sandwich though, Mikel Arteta. Why didn't you? Because he got a red card, and I felt a bit bad. But what? Hold on. So it's a negative attitude, Roy, saying it's always going to happen. You're going to lose yeah. against Arsenal and with Palace. But you had 25 Sorry, minutes. Fans. <laughs> you had 25 minutes, Roy, against 10 men. No. Indeed, and we're still not good enough. And you're still <laughs> still not good. Enough. Very shit. <laughs> still very shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll move I mean, on from Roy. Yeah. What are, your, what are your thoughts though? Just give the fans quickly. Was it a second yellow? No, not at all. Not at all. Is it unless, another? Unless he kept. It was like a. Oh, he's done it a few times. I didn't see the rest of it's it. It's literally no, no, no. Yeah, but like, I'm saying maybe he did other stuff during the game that led no, up to that. No, I don't think he did. I think it was literally. It was a counter attack. And it, what it did for it, it looked like it was a pull down. Yeah, he did. It looked basically from the ref's angle. It looked like a pull down, and which means it's going to be a yellow card. But basically, VAR can't. This is how stupid is this, it's right? Ridiculous. I know. VAR. Can, only, can get involved if it's a straight red. So if I kick you in the face and the ref doesn't see it, right? And I go, bang, have one. Yeah, for the people that didn't know, I kick Mike in the face there. Kind Ooh, of. Wow, yeah. yeah. Um, no. So basically, I can kick Mike in the face. The referee can miss it. VAR can then go back and they can go, yeah, referee, that's a red. I'm a dickhead, yeah. blah, 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 blah. But if I kick Mikey and it's a second... No, sorry, if I don't kick Mikey, but the ref thinks I've kicked Mikey and it's a second yellow and then I then get a red card... The, re the VAR can't then check that second yellow to make to, That's to what go around. What's the point? So even if, what's even, the point? Yeah, so even if I haven't kicked you for that second yellow, but the referee thinks I have, VAR can't get involved. Yeah, I don't, that's ridiculous. How There's stupid. There's no point of video assistance, but, and if they don't assist that well at all, they don't change. You, you need to change the referee's decision. You need to, what, if, what if, we if call it? Video kind of, video, video the VK, yeah, v, VKAR, video kind of assistant referee. Yeah, okay, yeah well, just, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think on. I don't think we can talk about that. Quickly, before this, we finish this segment, Aston Villa destroy Everton by beating them 4-0. Unai oh. Emery, how are you? Uh, good evening. Uh, very well. Uh, very that was good. Thank you very much. Uh, how, uh, how did you feel about uh, Everton? I uh, really destroyed uh, Sean Dyche's team. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck off, Unai. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to let you have your moment here. Go oh, on. Unai, just wait, all right. We're just starting off. We're not very good right at the moment. Look at our team, man. Shit. Yes, but uh, you were uh, very shit there. Uh, so I know that uh, we we play very well. We have the AV. This is fun <laughs> to watch, didn't it? This is what you did last week, didn't you? Carry yeah, no, on. I this is fun to watch. I'm literally chatting shit. No, go on. Carry but, on. Uh, and we... What was the score? 4-0? 4-0. Four -nil. Four -nil, yes. yeah, I mean, you should know the score. Uh, you were there. Sometimes I have so much going on at home and, and you know, kids and everything. So, uh, what? Uh, yeah. I'm just improvising here. This, and, uh, this and, uh, podcast, yes. we chat shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't give a fuck about your kids, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean Dyche. Why are Everton, again, for the third, well, probably more than three seasons, yeah. but I'm going to be kind, for the third season in a row, why are you so dog shite? It's hard to put, you know, a pin on it, but <laughs> I think, really, it's because we're not, look, have we got it back? Who have we got it back? Fucking Keane. He's dog shit. I'm really out of my players. Yeah, <laughs> they're your own players, be careful. Well, I told him around to change What about Pickford? Anyway. How's he? Oh, I love that. Uh, what I'm going to do, Mikey, oh, you're going to have to it. take over Pickford today, because oh, no, I don't please, think I can do it with my voice. Give it a go, please. <laughs> No, I can't. That's going to hurt too much. You're going to have to. You're going to have to be Pickford and and Sean go. What am I saying? How, how so Pickford, uh, what's your thoughts on inevitably being in a relegation battle again? Well, I'm used to it by now. I, I just want to do like an Aaron Ramsdale. Where I get signed by a better team after I get relegated. So hopefully, get relegated, I come back up. <laughs> <laughs> Any teams that you want to sign for in particular? Oh, oh. Wherever my bestie Harry Maguire is. That's that's Sean Dice. Where my bestie Harry Maguire is. Harry Maguire, do you want Pickford to come play with you? 
Uh, I don't mind really. If we play golf, maybe. No, no, I'm talking about football. You oh, oh, <laughs> silly me. Uh, yeah, all right. Are you gonna stay at Man United? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and more than you believe, we are going to finish off this segment about the boring, boring, boring Manchester City that always win every game, and we beat Newcastle one nil. We made it look easy. We were in the uh, uh, Athens. Um, oh, the OG boys I think I saw them at Athens as well I think, <laughs> yeah. they, I think they were watching <laughs> side note we went to the Super Cup um, yeah, and we yeah, watched that's the content and we went to the Super we Cup we went to the Super Cup and watched Man City midweek but yeah. basically more than you believe we, 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 did, we didn't play very well midweek against uh, Sevilla but we still got still, the trophy. Still win, yeah. Um, and then we had like one night sleep. The Premier League, oh, that's so annoying. The Premier League are like, oh my <laughs> God, you have to play on Saturday. I want to play on Sunday or Monday because then we get more rest. But the Premier League, they don't care. They just want to see more than you believe. They want to see lots of football, okay? Yes. It's one of those things that more than you believe they want Money. to see it. Yeah, but it's very boring that we win. But do I care? No, because I win, I win, I win. I win, I win, I win. Right, so this segment has been, you know, very positively... What's the feedback? We got good good feedback from it basically last week, and we thought we'd jump back back into it and ask you guys to send us some questions, some really weird questions. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to answer them again. Basically, people love weird football questions, and this segment is where we answer your weird football questions. So yesterday mm. we put on Instagram, like we did last week, we put a little thing on. Help us out for our podcast, please. Can you ask us some weird football questions? And I actually put in little brackets. Mate, like, ask us anything at all. So anything. You know what we're like? We're super weird. We want weird questions. So ask us anything at all. If you want to get involved in future weeks, follow us on Instagram, at OG Boys. And whilst you're there, just follow us on every other social media as well, because we're, yeah, I'm real. Um, good plug. Yeah. Good, good, <laughs> good plug. Good plug. plug. And, yeah, we'll get straight into the first so which weird one, question. Which, which one do you want to start with? I will start reading out to you. Okay. Can you imagine <sighs> Maguire having sex? If so... No, can you imagine Maguire? Mag- <laughs> I can't even speak. Can you imagine Maguire having sex? Yes. If so, how would it be? I can imagine it. Obviously, yes, I can. You can. What do you mean? Obviously, can you? You can imagine anything, so I can imagine that. Okay. How would talk- it be? Do you want me to do it in Maguire? Yeah, start with it in Maguire, and okay. then talk us through what. No, what we should do is you're going to start. Oh. Uh, start. <laughs> this is going to be so weird. Oh, right. just going you're going to you're going to start us off of how it would be Maguire having. Oh god! <laughs> you're gonna start as was Maguire having sex. How it would be, right? Ooh. And then you're gonna talk <laughs> us through the context afterwards. So I want no context first, bar what I've just said. Okay. So okay. Maguire, this is how Maguire has sex. Um, z- that's a zipper. Um, well, my, I do. I never learned about this in school. Um, how? Okay, I've got this. <sighs> Done. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now please provide the audience <laughs> with a level of context for that. See By it. the way, for those that aren't watching this, Mikey now had his he- hand head in his hand after he okay. has done that. So I'm pretty sure that is like a in between us Will and what is it, Will and Charlotte moment. <laughs> Mikey, please provide the audience. So, with. Well, I did not expect to see that when I was travelling up on the so train. Basically, this in my head, I thought, you know, Maguire. We 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 make him as a dumb person. I thought let's go with that. And he's never this is that was him, you know, losing his virginity. By the way, <laughs> that is him. So, so it wasn't him just having so sex. That was his actual virginity loss. His zipper, you know, he, you know, was it? He's was starstruck by what he just saw. And who is he with? No, she doesn't want to. Get oh, her information it, out there. Well, no. it was, what was it? One thrust, and then it was a. Well, well that's what he thinks is, is the case. I so think he's a dumb boy. In our, in our I mean, I don't actually know if I Maguire think he is, is dumb. He might Maguire, be really... please, can you contact us and let us know if you are or you're not dumb? Like, we just made we... this character for you and we don't know if you're dumb or not. We've portrayed you as a very, very dumb character, so, like extremely dumb and terrible at football. Don't get me wrong, you haven't had your best couple of years, but you are quite good. We apologise. <laughs> Do we? No. <laughs> Do we? The pundits are worse than us. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Right, next question. We're, we're always joking, okay? Are we? All right. This is staying with the Harry Maguire questions. Okay. Would you have sex with Harry Maguire mm-hmm. for a million pounds yep. on live television? Yes. You would? Yes. Okay, what, what channel think, or why? No, why I would think you I would, this? yes, because a million why, pounds yeah. is a lot of money. That's literally yeah, it, isn't it? I agree, but 
It's and you like, didn't you make any stipulations. Like I could like, no one could actually see anything. I could have clothes on no. just a willy through the zipper sort of thing. Oh, that is you. <laughs> That's what I haven't got to do. No, I am you. I've lied to you straight to your face. I'm not doing it. No way. No way. Mate, live TV. Depends what channel. No, it doesn't. It does. Why? Because, it, the you know, concurrent viewers, is that what it's called? You yeah, know but Mike, you, the, on, when you're on uh, live TV, they're just going to record it. You having sex with McGuire on live TV is going to go viral on social exactly, media. Exactly, and I'll, be, I'll so go viral. So it doesn't viral. matter what channel. It could be on Channel 4, BBC. I'll go viral. Living, whatever. Yeah, I but, don't mind. So you would... So A million quid is a lot. So you would do it? Yeah, Harry, contact me. So you want to have sex with McGuire? Yeah. And Harry Maguire wants to have sex with me. <laughs> oh, the, the, <laughs> my brother has just told me that he would sell out for a million pounds. I don't on think it's TV. selling out. It's it's business. <laughs> it's business. To be fair, you're investing that back in the OG boys, yeah? Maybe. No, so he's, basically, he's told me that he's selling out for a million pounds to have sex with Maguire. Thank Is you. That, Thank you. No, I'm not sure Maguire would want that. But anyway, uh, let's move on to the next, <laughs> next question. This is a little bit of a change of topic. We're going to come away from the big slab head, all right? Okay, okay. If you were to spend... I mean, we might not be moving away from Slabhead, actually. If you were to spend the day with any footballer in the world, yeah. who would it be? So, no, I don't Ooh. want you asking any questions here. Just any footballer in the world. Any footballer in the world. Just what would you do? Who you would know it what? Be? I'm gonna, I'm and, gonna, what, and what would you do? So, who would it be and what would you do? That's, I was gonna, I'm going to go Haaland. So, if you'd... If you, I can't speak today. Maybe my illness is taking over. He's a bit ill, guys. If Remember you, that. Yeah, I'm going to really look, look for the sympathy here. Yeah. So if you were going to spend... Or send your love. No, don't do that. <laughs> you, if you were going to spend the day with any footballer, who would it be? Erling Haaland. Why? Because he just seems like a joker. And I think when he's not training, I think he'd be really fun. He'd just be an animal and like... Oh, that's an animal? Like, I didn't mean like that. I didn't mean like that. Is this guy okay? He just told me he set out for a million pounds and now he's telling me that Haaland's an animal. Are you I, don't okay? what I'm, I don't know what I'm talking what about. What are you fantasizing? No, we're not going to go no, down no, that no. Right, what about you then? Who would you, who would you go Jack for? Jack Grealish. Oh, it's so boring. No, it's not boring. It it's is. not boring. Jack it Grealish, is. me and him, night out, cut some shapes, talk to a few women's Women. and okay. just get out there and have a great time. Wake up in the morning, we'll go again. Go again? Yeah, probably It's only a day though. Nah, but we're gonna. I'm going to time it perfectly. So we're going to go from... Midnight to midnight, so I kind of get a night out and a half. No, that's not good. Yeah. You should do it from like 6 p.m. till 6 p.m. Then I wouldn't get the another night day. out. You do one Unless we just drink out. the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, next Legends. question. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I'm so cool. Who is. Oh, actually, what? I'm going to call you out, actually. From last week, Mikey called out Luke Shaw, calling him dumb. And his reason for being dumb was because Mikey said he's not intelligent. Like, Thank can you. you help me out? That is the worst backing he thing has, ever. Okay, he told me to go a bit further. He's not had a good education, so he's not, you know. He doesn't you have don't the, know about the his education. Anyway, he just that seems was the, dumb. That's what I'm saying. Okay, that was what you could have said. He seems dumb. That's basically what I said. Who cares? But what <laughs> actually, I do, because Luke Shaw is my left back. Shit no, left back. On the topic of He's intelligence, yeah. who is the smartest footballer? Oh, off the top of my head, I think it's Akanji. What? Oh, because he's like a human calculator. Yeah, that's the thing. And then Rodri as well. Right, human really calculator. 312 times by 612. Oh, that's a 3,000... No, actually, 324. You're correct. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's, by the way, oh. he's just not correct. Obviously. What about you? Um, Who do you think? Uh, The smartest footballer. You're going to say in terms, really In stupid, terms of what? It? Here we go. I knew that. Oh, oh smartest on the pitch or smartest out Yeah, no, in terms of what? Give me something... Smartest footballer, it'd be all round. In so terms of like general knowledge or football brain or... Do you know the general knowledge of all the players? No, because if it's general knowledge, it's not Grealish. Not at all. If it's, getting, if it's smartest in terms of, oh, I want to teach you how to get fouled, it's Grealish. If it's smart as of, smart stuff, I'm going to teach you how to do calf, so like, calf workouts and get big calves. It's great. No, <laughs> intelligence overall. Okay, intelligence overall. It's probably like, do they have to be like playing now? It's probably like Frank Lampard, I swear. No, no, or Vincent Company, I swear he had a degree and stuff. And like, I think a lot of them do have a degree, actually. I'm not sure a lot. No, I wouldn't say a lot, <laughs> but a, fa a fair few. No, a smartest footballer currently, I'd go someone like, like Martin Odegaard or Bruno Fernandes. Do you know what? And I'll give you a reason for this. Uh, uh, no, the smartest footballer is yeah. Bruno Fernandes or Martin Odegaard because they see football in a different way. And people that see football in a different way, they see different passes, they're just far ahead in, in their brains. They're just further ahead than other footballers. So they'll see passes and things that don't happen, which means that their intelligence level, especially in regards to football, is just way ahead Yeah, that's of intelligent football. I know we're not just right. talking about football, but that makes me think that in outside of life, they see things differently. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's good outside of life. No, but I'm going to go with the fact of because they see football differently, right. they're going to see other things I differently. I don't mind the answer. Also, my voice answer. is hurting. I don't so. mind the answer. So Thank that's, you. He actually liked my answer. But Bruno's... Ugh. Why does he hate Ugh. Bruno? <laughs> go on, next question. All right, next question. Hmm. What football club do you hate for Ooh, no... I was about, I'm literally about to say that one as well. All right. what, what football f club do you hate for no reason? 
Come on, say Man United. No, no, I'm not going to say Man United. I'm not going to say. That's, I don't really hate I, I'll be honest I don't really hate any football club what football club do you hate for no reason first team that comes to your head Millwall whoa what's Millwall done to you you said first team that came to my head I don't have an do you issue know, did you said Millwall because you know they're like fighters or whatever they think they're hard and you don't like a fight or no I actually don't like a fight yeah, Mike there's there's no Mike doesn't like fights which is fair enough there's no like point fight, in fighting Millwall, Millwall know that they Millwall are known for being a bit hard Millwall fuck them all fight it anyway sorry that was a chant say that again no uh, you <laughs> uh, who, who what football club do I hate for no reason Arsenal not that I hate that's a lie I don't hate them I just dislike them more than other teams I don't hate any football team but I just dislike Arsenal the most yeah. because their fans are so deluded I think it all comes oh. I think it all comes from Arsenal fan TV oh United fans saying that okay in, and United I'm feeling fan. so ill but I'm still gonna in, in my illness I'm still gonna dig at Arsenal that's United fans saying that that's by the way United fans heart, are the most deluded in the illness of my heart I'm still gonna dig at Arsenal most deluded all right. Okay, who are the most deluded fans? United. <coughs> United or Liverpool? United podcast. or Liverpool? Really? Yeah, absolutely. Do you want, do you most want deluded fans, I'd go... I'd go Arsenal, yeah. Or Chelsea. No, Chelsea are... Oh, actually... No, Chelsea fans are terrible. Maybe, yeah. Sorry, guys. Go but, on, you carry on. I might need, my mic is going to have to take over this podcast this sequence because I'm ill. He's feeling it. Have some water, yeah, mate. Have yeah, some go, water go, and go, just go. chill. So, next question. Shag Mario Void, Pep Guardiola, Carlo Ancelotti... Or Jose Mourinho. Do you want to quickly tell the uh, the audience why the, oh. the podcast quickly cut and cut back? I wasn't sure if he wanted to. Well, I wasn't sure if he wanted to. I told you I'm ill. I had to take a moment. The the, the illness took over me. I had yeah. to go to the toilet. Take a moment. But I'm back. So we're going to go ba- back with a bang. What is it? Shag Mary Avoid. Shag Mary Avoid. Pep Guardiola. Carlo Ancelotti or Jose Mourinho. So Shag Mary Avoid. It's got to be Mary Mourinho. Okay. Shag Pep. Yep. Avoid Carlo. I don't need none of Carlo Ancelotti's eyebrow in my life. I don't need that. None that, of that. Maybe a bit, a bit spicy, you know? No, I don't like his eyebrow. No, get away you from it. You can't me. do it, that's why. No, I can't you do give it. Give it a try. Give it a try. Okay, no, no, but the podcast yeah, the but listeners, just, well, I'll do this for the camera. I'm just trying to do the eyebrow now. No, it That's him trying to do the um, eyebrow. The Ancelotti eyebrow. No, yeah, so I'd, and I'd, I'd shag Pep because Pep... Think about the amount of body language he gives on the side of the pitch, right? So this is the, this is the reason why I shag Pep Guardiola. Yeah. The amount of body language he gives on the side of the pitch, yeah, when he's so interested in saying, imagine what he's like in bed. Like the body language would be outrageous. Like I actually be, do agree. There'd be you. so thank you. There'd I be do. so much of it. More than you believe. More than you believe. More than you believe. I oh mean, my no, okay, yeah. And God. Then, uh, the reason I'd marry Mourinho is because I reckon you could just have fun with Mourinho. Mourinho brings that personality. He's just a sort of bit of a sneaky bastard, but also just like. He seems pretty calm as well. Like. Yeah, like he just, I don't know, I think he'll just do whatever. Like, and he doesn't have no barriers. He'll just do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. And Kinky. You know I mean, you kind of like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, moving on. Anyway, is there anyone? Oh, who, who would win in a fight? Mikel Antonio or Adama Traore? Who would win in a fight? Mikel Antonio or Adama Traore? Well, however much shit I've given Mikel Antonio, I think he does him. I think Ooh. Adama Traore is more just like big muscle. I can run fast. Oh, I'm quick. Do you know what I mean? Cool. We all <laughs> we can all be a bit quick. Who's quicker, you or Adama Traore? Over how far? <laughs> no, no, no. This is no, 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 I, he, this is going to sound so deluded, right? Go it's going to sound so <laughs> deluded. This will sound. I promise you. Yeah. Over two yards, I'm quicker. Two yards. Two yards. Two yards. I'm rapid over two Shame yards. Shame there's not a competition in that. Mate, over two yards, I'm quicker than a dog. Over 10, uh, me- 10 meters? No chance. No way. He's Five. miles gone. He's probably eight ahead. Yeah, I've sure. stopped at the two. <laughs> no, but anyway, no, I think Antonio beats him. I think, like I say, Antonio is more of a rough character. I think he knows how to fight more, whereas Adama Troy is just sort of body, like baby or muscle. Yeah, he'll he? just slip out and just knock what? him out. Who do you think wins then? Adama. I think he's more agile. I, don't, I just don't see it. Should we try and get them to do it? What? After I've what so after I've told Mikel Antonio he's shit, I'd be like, also, could you fight Adama Traore for us? Please, just for the content. Also, actually, I'm going <laughs> to ask you. We didn't ask you on your Shag Mary Avoid. Shag Mary Avoid. I think I, I, was, I think I agree with you. No, Shag Mary Avoid. Pep Guardiola, Ancelotti, Mourinho. So Ancelotti, yeah, get rid. He's too old for Avoid. me. Too old, but you you can do his eyebrow. Yes, I yeah, can. He's, he's doing his eyebrow I'm now. I'm doing the eyebrow right now. Go on, give us your best Carlo Ancelotti impression while we're here. Where's he from? Italy. Italy. Oh God. Be careful here. <laughs> Hello, my friends. No, that's not even. No, they not even do close. love that. Not, they do love yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Though. I don't want to. No, sorry, but so, the listeners, I'm doing I'm, a, I'm a, a jet. The, you know that gesture that Italian players do when they want, like, like after they got booked or they've given away a foul, and they're like, yeah, this is a typical go on. one. Yeah. So get rid of it. Carlo Avoid Carlo Ancelotti, and then it will be you know shag pep. Because imagine saying that you shag pep as well. 
And then oh, so you're so you're shagging Pep for a flex. Yeah, imagine that. Like, boys, guess what? I just did. I shagged Pep. So he's shagging Pep to show off rather than to. But also, it'd be a great night. Oh, you do think so? Yeah, and then Jose Mourinho marry him because you know why he's just experienced in all aspects of life. How do you know? How do you not know? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Some of your reasoning actually sucks. Hey, it's a good answer, I think. No, go for it. But all next right. question. Let's have it. Come on, Ooh. bring it to me. All right. This Go is on. okay. This is actually a just a proper football question. Okay, proper. Yeah, it's like, oh, so we're going for a serious OG boy. It's question. not quite serious, but it's a okay. more you know yeah. footbally question. Mm-hmm. So, would you prefer to be the fastest slash best dribbler in the team, or the best passer in the team? The fastest slash best. I think the problem is with this is is that the media like standards dumb football fans like can only appreciate the fast and like dribbly players yeah. because they look better on the eye. Yeah. But I'm I prefer I'd prefer to be the passer like the sort of Perlo, the Carrick. Um yeah. they're the ones with the better football brains in my opinion. No, that's um, true. So I'd prefer to go with those lot and I don't think they get appreciated enough. They're sort of like um who's it like the Rodries of this world. Like obviously he's getting more and more appreciated now, but yeah, definitely Rodri. What about yourself? I, I honestly I think that's tough because I like doing both of them when I play football. I, I like b- passing. I like attempting to do both of them when you play football. Here we go. Just, just <laughs> no joke. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, no. I actually, you know what? Just for the fun of it, I'm going to go with the best dribbler because it'd just be fun to just constantly do that and just always, always everyone be like praising you. Oh, what? so you basically Mikey wants the praise. Like you, know, you, you do all the dribbling. Mikey wants everyone to be like, oh my god, you're so good like, at that dribbling. You're so thick. fast. That guy's so good. Exactly. All right, we're going to finish this segment on this question. Go on. I think I know your answer. On, I mate, just want you to say it quickly. Yeah. Would you bed? Okay. Would you sh- sleep what? with shag, whatever you want to call it? Would you sleep with the Premier League manager to get in the starting eleven? <laughs> Which manager? You can pick. Or like okay, any of them. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yes, I would. Which one? <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> oh, I said. Totally. Surely it's Pep after you've just praised him. No, but like no, that was out of three people. Or do you want Pochettino because you're a Chelsea fan? Oh, that'd be fun actually. But who's like a kind of cute one? Uh, like, cute. Yeah, just so Why do you want the cute? I thought you wanted a you bit of emotion in your shag, not just cuteness. Yeah, but like, so you want a cute shag? I don't want to feel overwhelmed. Why am I talking him? about your sex life? What about you? Uh, yeah, Ten Hag, have it. Let's have it. <laughs> Ten Hag, let's go. Cool. Where are you at, Ten Hag? Let's shag. Right, so this section of the podcast, we're going to be doing our classic OG Boys improvised predictions slash OG Boys predictions. So we'll be. Getting in, in and out of our characters, meeting up with all the big teams, <laughs> yeah. all the big teams' characters, all their managers, whoever, players. And we're going to be making predictions about this weekend's fixtures. So we're going to start off with arguably one of the biggest games of the season so far. Woo! Newcastle versus Liverpool. Yeah. Eddie Howe and Jurgen Klopp. I'm going to yeah. be Eddie. Yeah. You're going to be Jurgen. Okay. <laughs> Jurgen, we're going to start with you. So I'm, actually, no, I'm going to be the interviewer first and then we'll swap oh, over. Okay, bye, Eddie. <laughs> I mean, they didn't even arrive then, but yeah. Um, so, Jurgen. Uh, yeah. Hello. First of all. Hi. You excited? <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing. <laughs> Why are you so excited? Because I'm going to beat Lucas one. What, away from home? Oh, absolutely. I back my boys. Are you sure? I've seen Trent play at the moment. He's hey, don't, don't insult Trent. Yeah, of course, mate. I've just not played very well. Trent. It's very tough to do yeah. with this accent. Your voice has gone a little bit. Yes, me, me, me sore throat, mate, is making, <laughs> is making it very difficult. But I'm still a bit emotional because I gave them all away at Bournemouth. And then we can see the goal. We lost me clean sheet, which means on my fantasy Premier League. I lost me points. Yeah, but Trent, don't worry. We still won. I don't mind. You yeah, don't have to defend. It's fucking Bournemouth, Jürgen. We yeah. should have beaten them 7-0, not uh, fucking 3-1. It doesn't matter. I back you, okay? Okay, yeah. I'm now going to be Eddie Howe. Hello. Hello, Jürgen. You're How going you? down. No. Yeah. At St. James's Park. Why am I so posh? <laughs> that is so posh. At St. James's Park. Where's Tyndall? Where Tindall, is he? Oh, he's not here today. He's not God. Allowed. I don't know what this voice is. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be Eddie Howe. We're gonna stick with Jurgen. <laughs> this interview's removed. Eddie Howe. Bye, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, bye. But Eddie Howe has been removed because we cannot do his accent. Um, yeah. We basically cannot. Can't cannot speak English. Speak English. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So Jurgen, yeah. talk us through. Is Trent gonna play well? Or is he gonna Trent be is going to play well? Trent is going to play unbelievably. He, I don't get why everyone hates on him. He's unbelievable. He's a great attacker. I can give you one reason. Okay. He can't defend. <laughs> Who needs to defend in this day and age? <laughs> okay, moving on. Well, nice, okay. nice and quickly to Chelsea versus Luton. Yes. So, Mauricio Pochettino, how are Let's we? See. Hello, how's it going? 
I mean, I'm okay. Argentinian. How, how are yes. you? I'm great, thank you. I'm very excited. Have really. you recovered from the uh, loss to uh, West Ham? Uh, it does not affect me at all. It is in the past. It's in the past. It's in the past. It's in the past. Yes, it, we, we, we should have won. Uh, gonna but we didn't, okay, I know. Are you going to make any changes? Uh, we, we shall find out on the day because... I don't want to give it away. Oh, you sound so media trained, Pot. Yes, thank you very much. I am media trained. Uh, what about you, uh, Rob Edwards? You having I mean, fun? Are you what? excited? I mean, I'm just a bit frustrated because our stadium still ain't fucking ready. But to be fair, we're away from home this week, so it's done right about our stadium, does it? So the reason I said that was completely it's, pointless. It doesn't matter. We are Stamford Bridge, yes. Yeah, we're also, probably going to lose about 4 0. You reckon 4 0? Also, I rewind. I've been told uh, what is your predictions for the Newcastle Liverpool game? Oh, what, my predictions as Rob Edwards, or... <laughs> no, go back, we forgot to give the predictions for oh, the Newcastle yeah. Liverpool. Oh, yeah, which prediction for the Newcastle Liverpool game? Sorry, yeah, um, I'm going to go with 2-3-1 two... Liverpool. 3-1 Liverpool? Yeah, go, what's yours? I think Liverpool, will... actually, before you say, I think Liverpool will turn up um, like they did last year, and it'll just be really tough, 3-1. I think 2-1 Newcastle. Okay, and yeah. then we're going to fast forward. <laughs> back to Chelsea versus uh, Luton. <laughs> yes, Rob Edwards, yes. yeah, so... I... I'm happy now that basically the stadium's nearly there, but it's not done yet. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to get relegated. I'm a bit pissed off about that, but it's fun to be in the Premier League so, one year. So what you're going to do is you build the stadium up and then get relegated. So no point to do the stadium. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Have okay. you heard much from your owner, Todd Bowley? Or is uh, it? I mean, I've heard he's just coming into the room right now. Oh, hi, guys. How's it going? <laughs> Very well, thank you, Todd. Are you excited for the game on Friday? Not really. Why? Because... Last week, I was very disappointed in you, Maurizio Cacapatino. Not quite. How do I say your name? Maurizio Pochettino. Maurizio? No. Nope. Pochettino. No, nope. Maurizio That's Pochettino. That's what I said. Okay, boss. Would you like another $1 billion to spend, my guy? I would take that. Uh, for the club or for myself? Uh, for the club. Oh, shit. Okay. Because I just can't believe you've spent one. Well, you haven't, but the club has spent all my money, and we're still trash. No, no, give us time, okay? Give us Am time. I going to have to send you to Saudi Arabia with those other bastards? I wouldn't mind, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're well, gonna predictions, move. though. What do you, Todd, what do you As think? As Todd Bowley. At yes. Todd Bowley. I'm actually a bit sad this week because I, I signed you as a new gaffer. Yes. I signed like <laughs> 10 players on like 85-year contracts. And I still think we're going to lose again. I think the Looney Tunes. You think? I think the Looney Tunes are going to beat us. You feel real? I think 2-1 the Looney Tunes. What about you? We're going to beat them 3 1. And then what would you, what is your actual prediction? Take your Chelsea bias out. Oh, a 2 0. I think we still will win. Uh, I'm going to go yeah, 3 1. They're just going to get some dirty goal. Well, That's Chelsea, a long range goal. goal. Yeah. Some, so, yeah, Chelsea get a win. Moving on. Bournemouth on, Chelsea. versus Spurs. Bournemouth versus Inge Spurs. Posta Coglu. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ange, how, how are you feeling, Ange? How are you feeling about the game? Yeah, I'm feeling good, thanks, mate. We uh, <laughs> fucked off those Red Devils, didn't we? 2-0. Uh, you did uh, very well. We do. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, that's what I do. We I, don't need Harry Kane. Yeah, I was him. about to say, you, how, are you, how are you dealing with, with, well, the, with the absence of Harry Kane? Since he's gone, I've missed him a bit. But at the same time, I haven't missed him on the pitch because we still beat Manchester United. Yeah, that's quite easy though, isn't it? I actually thought it was really... Yeah, it's fucking dead <laughs> right easy. Dead bloody easy. But... Tyler Adams has arrived. The Bournemouth, I'm the Born. I am Bournemouth's <laughs> new signing. My name's Tyler Adams. Sounds a lot like Todd. <laughs> he is a little bit like Todd, but the funny thing is, I can only do one USA <laughs> accent. Dude, you got to be a bit more chill. Oh, okay, we got like, a new Tyler Adams. Hi, Tyler Adams. How do you feel to be Bournemouth's hey, new signing? I feel great, man. Like honestly, I'm so calm, collected. Like I, I'm buzzing. I should have been to Chelsea, but that happens. That yeah. is atrocious. What is? Your accent. You're like two like children. Like I like hey, it though. It's really good. Thanks, man. So Tyler, what's <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your Tyler Adams? What is your prediction for Bournemouth uh, versus Spurs? I really think I'm gonna get on that pitch and score a brace, and really help that team get that victory. This is oh, honestly, this is making me. Feel <laughs> I don't sick. know why I've done I'm it like ill, this. and I'm getting more <laughs> ill watching Mikey do this accent. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, Mikey, what is your actual prediction for Bournemouth Spurs? Bournemouth Spurs. Oh man, it's gonna be. I'm gonna say. 3-0 Spurs. What? 3-0 Spurs. To, I'm going to 2-0. 2 Away from home. It's not easy in the Premier. Away from oh, home. Bournemouth that, is Bournemouth like the family decent. stadium, mate. The family. What yeah. do you know about Bournemouth Stadium? It's a family stadium. Have you been? I have not. I've just heard a lot of so things you're on just the grapevine. Making up, you're, just, you're judging a book. before. What's it saying? Judge a book. Judge a book before, by its cover. No, before its cover. Because you're no, judging you don't, it before. Not before the cover. 
buy you see the cover, cover. Oh, you're, yeah but you're saying you're move on <laughs> right for the cover Man, shut up <laughs> Man United oh no I didn't do my prediction no I did two all Man yeah. United versus Forest this group Eric oh. Ten Hag um, this group I think if we do not beat uh, I'm not Steve Keefer by the way sorry if you do not beat if you do not beat uh, not Forest then um, uh, yeah we're pretty shit uh, you're going to lose your job why is that Australia we've had a lot of problems uh, recently we could not beat Tottenham um, and then I heard Roy Keane Roy Keane said that we were the new Spurs didn't you, <laughs> didn't you, Roy Keane? Well, I, 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 yeah, I did. I why did. You, why did you say that? You're Roy fucking Keane? shite, that's why. Why were you shite? You didn't play well. You didn't fucking do what you're supposed to do. You let two goals in. You Damn didn't it do your fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do your job. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you, Roy Keane. Fuck you. You're old and uh, you Fuck talk, you, you're older, you probably. You're a load of shit. Actually. I don't know who older. Don't know who's older. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who is older. But no, if we do not beat uh, Nuts Forest, I, I will let you talk shit about me. But um, not now. I, I will talk my shit. So, all right. Steve, St- you're all right. Steve Cooper. Hello. He's Welsh. He's a hardly Welsh. He talks. Well, he does not. Welsh. I just listen to his. man. No, no I just Well yeah it's alright I do a I do a Welsh accent then Yeah just do that He doesn't do talk like this at all I just like listen Bambino, to him He doesn't Becky. talk like this Sound like Bambino um, <laughs> Hello Bambino uh, What is it So Steve Cooper Hello mate How's I don't know why going? I'm Welsh as well You're you a Welsh you interviewer Steve Cooper Yeah hello Steve You're right, right Steve let's try, let's try and create a conversation Alright But at the same time Hey what's your name My name's Steve What's your name <laughs> My name's Steve too Oh really I think we're gonna Really struggle I'm gonna let you do this because I can't do well. Yeah, oh, come on. From where yellows? Who are we playing? Oh, not. Oh, United. Man United. Yeah. Man how do you think you're gonna get on? Oh, we're gonna get dicked. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get fucked. What's the score gonna be? Oh, about four 0 Man United. They're really? gonna, you know, get their expected goals and they're actually gonna score some goals. What is his accent going no, to? No, I don't know. Let's move on from Man United and Steve Cooper. <laughs> Arsenal versus Fulham. Um, actually, no. Before we move on, sorry. Your prediction for the Man United Forest. Oh, like it's gonna be like two nil United. I'm gonna go five nil Man United. Five yeah. nil, and the Hoyland, Hoyland, the new striker, he's gonna come on and score. Is he actually back from score. injury though? I think he might be in the squad. Rumor, OG boys, official rumor. Um, <laughs> yeah, no real <laughs> source there, just a bit of Twitter. Anyway, Arsenal versus Fulham. Mikel Arteta, how are we? Yeah, hey, very good. Um, <laughs> I can't do his accent. Um, you're really you're good, at home to Fulham this weekend. Very Fulham really started good. off really poorly. Easy Actually, that's a lie. They won their first yeah, game. Can you be a Mikel Arteta, please? Okay, I would be Mikel Arteta. Um, okay. Yeah, so against Fulham, how, how, how are you preparing? Are you, are you ready I, for the game? I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I, the boys are ready. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a very special speech this week about football and plant pots. And what? Plant pots. Okay, okay, so can you can you give us a... Yeah, so my speech bit. will be like this. I will hold a plant pot here and I will say... We are like this plant because we grow. And when you grow, you grow into something bigger and something better. And that is what we have done as Arsenal Football Club. <laughs> That's actually, that is quite good, actually. I absolutely you, chat you, you winged mate. that, but it made a lot of sense. It didn't really. I but. think it did. Um, Mitrovic. What? I don't know. <laughs> okay, he's quite angry. What? I know you're not at Fulham anymore. Fuck Fulham. Where are you now? Saudi Arabia. Which club? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> No, do you know what's funny about that? He probably doesn't give a shit which club. No, he, probably, he probably doesn't. He probably care. just like, you know what? I'll take it because money. Do you know what club he actually is at? I no, don't. I think it might be Al. Al Ali. Um, Al 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 Where's we, he from? I don't know. But she just blagged You're one. You're eight meat. <laughs> no, he's definitely not. Whatever that was. <laughs> that was, was my first accent. Anyway, okay. Marco Silva. Let's just say, just give it, give it a voice. Just go like we do on our sketches. By the way, a little side note on the OG Boy sketches: when we don't, can't do an accent, we generally just go back to our classic back English to this. voice. Yeah, so, just, so this is your Marco is Silva. Mark. Now. You alright, mate? How's it going? Yeah. How do you think you're gonna get on away at Arsenal? Ooh. Um. Realistically and honestly, <laughs> why have you turned like? I don't know. Two 0 to Arsenal. I don't uh, back the boys. No. Why not? Because I don't really watch them, so I don't know. You're a bit upset. <laughs> yeah, Mitrovic, we ain't got a goal scorer now. What, what's your thoughts about Mitrovic selling out and going to Saudi? Respect. Oh, fair enough. I thought you were going to say <laughs> absolutely sell out. Right, moving on. Uh, oh. We have got, as you know, OG Boys predictions. Mikey, Arsenal Fulham, what is it? Oh, 3 1 Arsenal. I'm going to go 2 yeah. 0. Uh, Brentford versus Palace. Uh, Roy Hodgson, how are we? Oh, 
my name's Boy. I'm doing well, thanks. You know, Mikey says my name's Boy to get in character. Yeah, that's the reason. That's 100% the reason Boy. why he said it. That's Boy. funny. Uh, what's your prediction? We're going to go straight into your prediction. Just We just want your prediction for this game. Away at Brentford. Brentford are a good side. Banging nil-nil. Oh, and my name's Ivan Tony. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a gambling addict. Uh, I'm betting for eight months. Um, Brentford are quite good without me. Uh, might put a bet. They're, on, they're really might, good. Might put a bet on the game. To be honest, oh, I wouldn't Cars, do that. First goal scorer, you name it, I'll do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll bet Brentford beat Palace probably by two goals. Don't know what, but that's minus one on the old handicap on the bet three six five. And yeah. Oh, that is great to know. I just added Ivan I'm glad Tony. you really, really learnt your lesson. He might actually you. have a gambling addiction. I'm yeah, sorry. sorry. Ivan. Apologies. I'm you really learnt, he's really learnt Come there, join Man United, Ivan, if you're, if you're listening. <laughs> right, Everton Wolves. Sean well, Dyche, how are you? Oh, mate, I'm great. How are you feeling about oh. this? Because if you lose this game, that's three losses in a row. Yeah, but I don't think of it like that. What do you think? I think of it like... The boy, at least the boys are playing their 90 minutes they're getting in there getting some game time having some fun isn't that what pre-season's for mate well sometimes you think that I've got a different mindset so right. Pickford what how are you feeling about relegation and lose, potentially losing three in a row relegation no it's not happening it definitely no is. it's not fuck off <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I want to go into my prediction for this game. Yeah, please. Everton just jump versus in. Wolves. I think Everton are going to lose again at home, and I think it's going to be like a two-one Wolves. What about you? I think, yeah, two-nil Wolves. I think if they if they played like they did against Man United that last like ten fifteen, they will beat I'm Everton. Batterham. Beat Everton yeah. easily. Right, moving on. Brighton versus West Ham. Does 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 uh, Deserby? That was you last time. Uh, it? Yeah, that was it. Go uh, on. Hello, I don't know. Deserby. I don't know what exactly you won, won your first two games both. Was what it both four or five one? One of those scores. You're scoring loads of goals. Matoma good. scored an absolute worldie. He's a great player. Why? Why are you so good? Hey, we play like uh, I used to play back in my childhood. Uh, very uh, one, two, three, uh, pass it back. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> so uh, the reason why Brighton are really good is because they play like <laughs> Zerbi's childhood. Very one, two, three, pass it back. Um, anyway, anyway, Paqueta, are you excited, Paqueta? Are you excited for the game? Uh, are you all of the allegations? Paqueta, uh, yeah, that's my name. No, that's not Paqueta. Porto, <laughs> Portugal, that's like. Uh, are you going to bet on the game? Like this, Portugal. Uh, no, I'm, I, I, I match fix games. Correct. Match fix. Yeah, oh, yeah. God, I, that, I, a, I tell my friends. Is... I tell my friends to. Well, These are so, all allegations. Hold on, I will. I, uh, this is all allegations. But my name is Lucas Paqueta, and I tell <laughs> my friends to bet on me getting yellow cards. And then you got a yellow card the other day. Yeah. And a really dodgy made, yellow card as well. I don't know what my accent is, but I made under on that. Oh, good for you. What do you reckon the prediction is for that game? Uh, I'll get booked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow card to Lucas Paqueta. Brighton West Ham. Did we predict Everton Wolves? We did. Brighton West Ham, you're not you're not wrong. Uh OG Boy's prediction is right. going to be Brighton West Ham. Oh, I think 4-0 Brighton. 4-0 West Ham. Ooh, big. Scottish David Moyes. <laughs> we're gonna be at Brighton and we're gonna fucking struggle, lad. Like it's gonna be a fucking hell of a fucking day. Yeah. Brighton, Brighton, West Ham. So would you reckon? No, thank you. Scoreline, five nil. Five nil to Brighton. Put Brighton. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I I reckon like two nil to I'm Brighton. Four nil. And Fucking then hell. Burnley versus Aston Villa. Vincent Company. I'm gonna put the pressure on you here. Belgium. <laughs> I'm trying Mikey to think. has just named where Vincent Company is from. Everyone. <laughs> thanks. Thanks think. for letting us know. I'm not sure, but uh, I think we're gonna lose to Aston Villa. They look good. They look oh. very good. Oh, you know, you, know, you talk to yourself. Yeah. Good evening. I think we're going to play very well against Burnley. It is, I think it's an evening game. No, it's an afternoon Away game. Away from home, do you think that good evening you could win? No, good afternoon. It's a, it's a, no, you say good evening, no two, good afternoon. 2pm two, two game, okay? No, two you always say good evening no matter uh, what. Good evening, good afternoon, good night. Okay, man. Anyway, on. Uh, we, we win 3-0. Uh, we we beat them 3 nil. Okay, I'm going to be Vincent Gampney and my deep voice <laughs> will be like this. I don't know why. My, some of my impressions are so shit. Um, <laughs> Vincent Company, we're going to go with 2-1 Burnley. 2-1 Burnley? Yeah, and Oji Boy's prediction, Chaz's prediction, mine. 2-1 Burnley. You reckon? Less habit. I'm going to go like 2-0 Villa. Okay, and then the final game of the weekend. Pep Guardiola. More than you believe. Okay, more than you believe. Sheffield United are the shittiest team in the league other than Luton. They could both be shittiest. I don't know, no. But we are going to score about 10 goals. Haaland probably. Double hat-trick. Actually, no, I'll probably take him off so he score, before he scores a double hat-trick because I prefer Messi and I don't want Haaland to break any of Messi's records. Um, but more than you believe, 
we are going to batter Sheffield United and the stupid Paul Heckingbottom manager. I don't even know him, but I do not like him. Fuck him. I love his name. 